All right, guys, so we want to explore one more um, sensor. This one's the ultrasonic sensor. Now, before we do that, though, um, we'll actually have to go in and load the ultrasonic sensor into our um, EV3 brick. So um, I'll put this link on your quest. Essentially, though, what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go to our browser, and we're going to have to go to lego.com, and we need to uh, download the ultrasonic sensor block. Okay, so I'm going to go in, and I'm going to download that, and I'm going to, uh, once I have that downloaded, I'm going to come back to my Mindstorms um, program that we've been working with, and I'm going to come up to Tools, I'm going to hit block import. Now, your teacher can help you with this as well if you're kind of not sure how to do it. Um, but we hit block import. And we'll go to where um, we downloaded it to. So in my case, I downloaded it to my downloads folder. So just kind of make sure you know where it's downloading. Hit browse and, and find that spot. And then it should come up and find the uh, one that we want to import so you're going to click on that one and hit import now I've already imported into mine so I'm not going to do it again but you should see ultrasonic.ev3b and go ahead and click on import then as we get started to use the ultrasonic uh, sensor we'll be able to use that so let's go ahead and start building this one so again I'm going to use my move steering and I'm going to put it to on so that it's going to go for an, an unlimited amount of time. I'm going to come over to my flow controls and I'm going to use my weight block. And this time when I click on it, I will now see that I've got ultrasonic sensor here. So I imported it into our weight block and we can now use our ultrasonic sensor. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to use the ultrasonic sensor. I want to compare it and I want to do distance in inches. So I'm going to set it to distance in inches. And right now, it, what it says is that it's uh, wait until it's less than. So I can change this to equals, not equal to, whatever I want to do. But in this case, I want to use less than because I want it to get close enough to the wall without actually hitting the wall this time. So I want it, my robot to go for an unlimited amount of time but wait until it's less than, and here I want to change this. 50 inches is a pretty far distance. That's too far. So I'm going to just say 6. And then, so I want it to drive for an unlimited amount of time and wait until it's less than 6 inches away from the wall. When it is 6 inches away from the wall, then I have to tell it what I want to do next. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to grab my move steering block. And in this case, then, I want it to back up. And we'll just say two rotations again. Okay, so make sure you notice what your port is for your ultrasonic sensor. It's in port 4. So as you add your ultrasonic sensor, make sure you get it into port 4. And we'll give that a try and see how that works. All right, guys, so you can see that I built the ultrasonic sensor. It looks like two eyes. Pretty cool looking. And I attached it onto the front of my robot, so you can see how that attaches there. It's kind of down towards the bottom. So there's the instructions on in the book on how to do that. So what I want to do now is I'm going to put it back down like I had with a touch sensor. I'm going to have it drive towards the wall again. And this time, what I want it to do is, as it gets to within six inches of the wall, it should detect that the wall is there, and then it's going to back up. So, let's give it a shot. And you saw that it actually did not run into the wall, and as soon as it got within six inches, it started, it stopped, and it started backing up. So, we got it right.